is hoping to spoil the bankers' weekend. Deal or no deal is next. Then Gokwan and Joan Collins hit the shops in Saint-Tropez, darling, in this week's Fashion Fix. Rhythm. That's what happens in my kitchen. I want a kitchen where parties happen spontaneously. So Magnet custom made me the ultimate party kitchen with funky cabinets and an amazing cooker hood. My personal designer suggested some mood lighting and I chose a built-in media center to really get the rhythm going. Buy your dream kitchen in the Magnet half-price sale and don't pay a penny until 2009. Magnet have more ways to personalize your kitchen than ever before. So come and tell Magnet what you'd like to happen in your kitchen. Summer swimwear gets the plunge test in Gox Fashion Fix at 5.30. Now on for who's about to park themselves on the crazy chair. Here's Noel. Twenty-two boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Saturday show. Thank you, pilgrims. Here we are in the Dream Factory. The Dream Factory packed with 22 very nervous people. Yet, yeah, honestly, honestly, they don't know who's coming out right now. Well, there's a couple over there who are pretty certain they're not coming out because they are newbies. We have two newbies because Helen's not very well, so we wish her well. But there are some of these who are on the radar. We reckon they're on the radar if it's about 15 games. How many, Charles? Uh, 17. 17. She's had 17 games. I'd worry. Carol, how many? 21. 21. I'd definitely worry. Les? 20. 20. Lance, how many? 19. 19. You do look nervous. I am. <laughs> Adam, how many? One. It's not me. <laughs> Don't think it's going to be Adam. Here they come. And this is my favourite bit. What is your reaction going to be when I say your name now? Louise! <laughs> <laughs> Louise, you are our Saturday star. Please join me. Your game. Thank you. You all right? Fine, thank you. Louise King from Lockton in North Yorkshire, a firefighter. That's right. How long have you been doing that? 14 years now. Uh -huh. What made you go into that service? Well, I've always liked helping people, and before I was a secretary in London, uh, which is a great job, but it didn't quite fulfil anything for me. So, um, never thought I'd get through the tests or anything. Uh, and I did, and to the amazement of my family, and it's great. Really good. Tell me about the tests, because I assume they don't make any concessions for no, ladies. No, everything's the same. It was really hard. Training school was really hard. And it was sit-ups, press-ups, block jobs, which is... Well, they'd throw, throw anything at you to try and make you fail, really. I was glad it was tough, because you actually felt as if you'd achieved something at the end of it. You brought a, a little fire engine, I noticed. I did, yeah. OK, tell me the story about this. It's a bit cheesy, but it was just at training school. When I'd, I'd finished my training, you have a passing out parade. And it was just something my mum brought for me. And she's not with me anymore, so... A good luck charm. Good, good luck charm. Do you want to have a look at the pics here? May I? Yep. Yeah. That's my mum and dad, uh, a long time ago. They've both passed away now, so... Could we have their names? Sorry, Ivan and Teresa. Um, that's my sister, older sister Catherine, and her two daughters, uh, Dominique and Natasha. And that's my dad, after he had a stroke. And that was just a day out in Scarborough, because he used to like going out to the seaside, so... Happy memories there. Yeah, definitely. 
Are you happy to crack on with the game? Yes. All right, we'll I learn do. more about you as the game unfolds. Okay, we must. Uh, but I need you please to confirm that you chose box number 15 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes. And it's the only person who knows where the money is. You haven't got a system, have you? No, none whatsoever. No. Obviously, I'd really like to do well today. I really need some money to keep my home because I've got a big mortgage, so... If I don't, well, something else will be around the corner. OK, yeah. it's a good attitude to have. I think my parents are looking after me, one way or the other. Great attitude. So. All you need now is good luck. Thank you very much. Good luck, Louise. <laughs> my favourite lock to last, so, um, not that you're not all great, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, Dale, let's have you, number 14, please. Good luck, girl. Thank you. All best. Thanks, Dale. Oh, no. <laughs> not good. Oh, I don't know. Come on. Yeah. Number three, please. Are you sure? Because I've had too high then. Oh, have you? So oh, far. don't say that. <laughs> oh, go on. I've chosen that. Box number three. Yes. Thank you. 3,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> Val, I think I'll have you. You're nice and summery today. It's a little bit so cute. cute. Bring me some sunshine and make it a blue. Please. I hope so. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Who else has got a blue? <laughs> Paul, I like the look of you. Excellent. I like a nice haircut. I'm glad to see you've got your hair. <laughs> Yeah, while everyone yeah. else was in the pub last night, presumably you went to the hairdresser. I went for a trim. <laughs> yeah. They trimmed a bit too much, I think. Good luck, Louise. Thank you. Yeah! You're not bringing me luck. I think I'll have the new lady, Beryl, please. Number Hello, 21. Beryl. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, Noel. Good. Where have you come from? Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah, it's all right. I know where Belfast is. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are about three or four Belfasts in the world. <laughs> oh. <But not> in... <laughs> oh, we've got a Such cocky a newbie name. then, eh? <laughs> Such a lovely name, but Northern Ireland's the best. Lovely. Do you know? Newbies don't talk this much. <laughs> this is That's my problem, Noel. Too much. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, in between the chats, do you think you could open the box for us? <laughs> Beryl, please make it a blue. No. Oh, that spoiled it. Not good, it. Beryl. Not good. Now, that's a shame. That's... Yeah, yeah, but that's a shame because you went oof about the twenty thousand. But actually, I don't think the twenty thousand no. would have any round some problems. It's the big money I want. But it's the thirty-five thousand. You shouldn't have done that. But the rest of it looks all right, doesn't it? Yes. I'm yeah. just going to stay on that side now. Yeah. Okay. Now this is going to be very, very interesting. I've got a funny feeling he's going to like you a lot. I hope so. <laughs> Hello, banker. Yeah, very good, thank you. You're calling from Bristol, yes. <laughs> Which, which one is that? Because there are over 400 Bristols in the world. <laughs> Two newbies at once. Beryl, the mouth, and Dave, <laughs> oh, no. the sinister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because Helen's not well, no. I'll ask. Uh, did Helen have the salmon mousse? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone else gone down with what Helen's got? You... Ah, he recommends the salmon mousse for the rest of you this evening. <laughs> yes, Louise is here. <laughs> Louise is here. Oh, foxy flirty oh. firefighter, you oh, see. I told you he would like, I like you. That. Yeah. Oh, 
hang on, he says, oh, this is the real real. Let me tell you something, Louise. Oh, yes. Does it sound like that? If you'd right? like to put out fire. Yes. <laughs> we are not doing a very good job with the banker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thought. What's he that? would very much like you to attempt a fireman's lift with him. <laughs> Send him round, I'll do it. Oh, this is bonding of the first order. This is wonderful <laughs> stuff. It'll cost him, though. You could be the first player to leave with money and a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> to the money. Thank you. Your courage is not in doubt quite clearly because of your occupation, but he notes that you are a very determined lady. Yes. And he is now offering you, for box 15, eight and a half thousand Ooh. pounds. Very nice. Good, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, you'd be in the Hall of Flame. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They've got to get better now. They're not very good, are they? <laughs> um, that is great, and that would really help me out a lot, because I really need that money. But I think I'm ready for the question. Eight and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much. Fantastic offer, that. No deal. Thank you. Right. Let's get some blues now. Eloise, number nine, you've got a blue top. I hope you've got a blue number for me. Oh, lovely Please. smile. She, she has, doesn't she? <laughs> Radiant smile lights up the dream factory. Make it blue. Paul, shame you didn't take him with you last night. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Adam. Good luck, Louise. Thank you. Oh Ooh, no. no, no, that's a big hole now. Adam. Sorry. Ooh, you found the fifty thousand. Oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> okay. Are you tiring? Oh, it's just going to bits a bit. No, it's not. Don't but you were prancing around there I know. for the first five. I was trying to change my luck by staying. Yeah, down no, you see, no, so I wondered if it? you needed a break. I, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> okay, I come back and see her burn the bank. <laughs> Many Chinese believe the number eight brings prosperity. That's why in Hong Kong, people will pay millions of dollars for a number plate. At HSBC, we also believe that we can bring you prosperity by offering you 8% credit interest with Bank Account Plus. Great rates from HSBC, the world's local bank. Must-have gadgets. Now have a must-have battery to power them. Energizer Lithium. If your digital camera can take 90 photos using ordinary alkaline batteries, then Energizer Lithium will let you take 600. Energizer Lithium. It's what's inside that counts. Now at the B&Q clearance sale with thousands of products you need at the prices you want. Everything must go. In store now. I started dancing when I was three years old and I went on to train at the Royal Ballet School. Little did I know then that I wasn't going to be a dancer. I was going to play wheelchair basketball and win two silver Paralympic medals. In 2006, I became the world champion in arms only single skull. My dream now to bring back a gold medal from Beijing later on this year. The more I see of life, I, I realize you're not one thing, but many things. The Sunday Times, for all you are. Shit! 
LG Steam Washer. Experience steam power. I've always loved Elnet. You know why? Elnet from L'Oreal Paris. It's so fine, it disappears at the stroke of a brush. My hair feels like satin. It holds perfectly. For me, it's the best hairspray in the world. And now, new Elnet Diamond Hold and Shine from L'Oreal. Because you're worth it. Life outdoors can be harsh on your skin, making it feel dry, rough and tight. Introducing new Norwegian Formula Everyday Repair Body Lotion. In tests, 100% of women found their skin relieved and soothed. Dry skin relieved, you're ready to take on anything. Dry skin relief from Neutrogena. Want long-lasting relief from heartburn and indigestion? Just one tablet can control your excess stomach acid for up to 12 hours. Santac for long-lasting relief. At Sainsbury's until Tuesday, you can save a third on all nappies. At these baby prices, you'd be potty not to. It's been a challenging week in the Big Brother house. The housemates are split and the strain is showing. But after another eviction and three new arrivals, will the pressure subside or continue to rise? Find out in Big Brother tonight from 9 on 4. Welcome back to Luigi's Game. And I've had to give her a bit of a stiff talking to because <laughs> the, the whole shoulders went there. You said it's not going so well, no. but you've only got that hole. Yes. And if the next one is a blue, and please find the 1p or the 10p, things aren't looking that bad. I'm sure you've been in worse situations. I have, and I've always wriggled out somehow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right then, where right. are we going? Oh, I'm going to stand up for this one. I'm going to leave box 17. Why? Uh, where I work in the pub. The lad there, Toby. It was a bit two parts of the wind that night, but he said box 17, box 17. So. Big right. money in that one, I think. Okay. okay, so we know the quarter of a million is in box 17. No, it's there. <laughs> There, quarter of a million. Um, Reg, box number four, please. Whoa, Reg, that woke you up, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I do hope it's blue. I don't want to spoil it for you. Don't you dare spoil it, Reg. Yeah! 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 Um, oi, oi. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yeah. that time already. It is. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we do three at a time. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Very keen. You see, well, she lives in that environment, you know. There must be quite a bit of sitting around, then all of a sudden it's got to <laughs> kick in and you've really got to get on with it. Oh, no, no, she, no, she doesn't miss a single thing. He's noted that every single time there's a comment, you've immediately got to the side. I'm assuming this is because you're in a male environment where you've got to stick out and give, exactly. give, give yeah. as good as you, you get, do, yeah. see? He's just loving you to bits. Is he good? Yeah, he's just totally loving you. Yeah, except for the 1p. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just pointed out it was uh, not a good round for him until the filthy hippie brought out the 50,000. <laughs> Peace and love, Adam, he says, the banker says. Peace, man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's talk money. She's got a mortgage to sort out. She just wants your money. Come on. OK, despite the hippie over there doing that to you, the 1P has helped you ascend to £10,000. <laughs> so... Very nice. 
can't believe someone's offered me ten thousand pounds. Yeah. There's a lot of money up there now, and it's a lot of money, but I need a lot, lot more. Okay then. I think I'm ready. Yes. Ten thousand pounds, deal or no deal. Thank you very much, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> Box number eight, please. Hope it's a blue. Thanks, Tina. Yeah! Oh. Fifty good. Oh. Oh. Who else has got blue? I was uh, thinking about Chris. Chris, we have Chris is looking great. <laughs> <laughs> All the best, Lou. Oh, thank you, darling. Box number 10, please, Derek. Good luck, bud. Thank you. Yeah! You're feeling better? Yes. And he is... Good. Hello. Uh, his embers are not glowing. No. He's going very cold on you. There is a lot of money on the board. There's a lot of money you may have to pay out. She wants a lot. She actually said she needs a lot. Yes, there is a mortgage that's a bit of a bit of a liability at the moment. Here he goes. The psychological stuff's coming now. <coughs> it can all go wrong very quickly, yes, banker. Thank you. Fifteen thousand pounds oh. now. That's really nice. Ooh. Ooh. Charles, you're sensible. What shall I do? Am I sensible? No, that's nice. Well, Thank you very much. That's nice. Well, that's a very kind, a very kind Louise. Thank, Thank you. you. What do I think? Yes. I think there's one more round in this. Do you? <laughs> but Charles is karaoke last night, now. He was karaoke. Yes. And oh, Mauricio. They what was he fantastic. doing? Songs from the shows? <laughs> YMCA. That's it. <laughs> YMCA. With my friend Les. Les and I did a duet. YMCA. Charles was the Indian. <laughs> <laughs> and you were? I was just pleased to be with him. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this got us then? Les, 15. help me out here. What do you think? If you take the three big red ones out, Lou, you're going to get an offer of around about a thousand. If you take the three low blues, you'll probably double your offer. Chances are you'll probably take one out and get a slightly better offer. I think you'll probably get about 20,000 if you can just take one of the big three. It's, it's a risky board, but there's a bit of mileage there if you're feeling brave. It's really hard, you know. Because you're thinking about it, it's real money. And it's loads in my account. Oh. Louise, this is a real lucky bunch of people here. That they are fantastic. On. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I We've done really well. Yeah. We're all here behind you as well. Thank you. Positive. Go for it. <laughs> OK. Ask me quickly. I'll <laughs> change your mind. £15,000 deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> positive, positive. I thought Les did a very good summary there. He gave yes. you three different scenarios, and the one you want to latch on to <laughs> is the one where he said you hold on to those three. Yes. Having taken out three blues. I'm not sure he was 100% right, the offer will be doubled, but boy, oh boy, it's going to be a big offer. OK, let's do it. <sighs> little Willy, give me a little one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't 
take all three. Oh, no. That's no. Right. Box 16, please. Thank you, Liz. Good luck. Thank you. One more box. Brian, you're going to do it for me. I hope so. All right, Brian. We're going to open this box after the break. No. Oh. What do you mean, no? I can't wait that long. Oh, all right then, Brian. <laughs> open the box. After the break. <laughs> True. And you will come back because she's still got the three big ones. Yeah. And if this is a blue, she's done a brilliant round. It's going to be a fantastic offer. Yeah. At the heart of Hellman's real mayonnaise are oil, vinegar and free range eggs. Because we believe it's better that way. The problem with thrush is that it affects you in two ways, internally and externally. So Caniston Duo contains two solutions, a pill to treat the internal infection and a double strength cream to soothe the external symptoms, leaving you feeling yourself again. Caniston Duo. Cools and clears. That time of the month again, new Feminax Ultra with naproxen is now available without prescription, offering long-lasting relief from period pain and cramps. Just ask your pharmacist. M&S this weekend, you can dine in with us for just £10. Choose a main course with vegetables for two. A dessert for two. And a bottle of wine for just £10 from a selection of products. This is not just a night in. This is an M&S night in. The Home Bay Summer Sale is now on with over 5,000 products for your home and garden now up to half price. Selected furniture, lighting, wallpaper and home base paint are up to half price. Selected garden furniture and barbecues are also up to half price. All this and more in the Home Bay Summer Sale. Home Base, make a house a home. Travelsupermarket.com compares the rates of over 100,000 hotels, over 50 car hire companies and millions of flights, comparing quotes from online travel agents, tour operators and budget and charter airlines. Cool. We need to fly to Barcelona. As soon as possible. Travelsupermarket.com compares the market in seconds, making it easy for you to choose the best deal. Travelsupermarket.com, the price comparison site. Do you know what this lot are doing? Working hard, earning money, that's what. They've got a Bradford & Bingley Rate for Life savings account that's guaranteed to stay competitive by tracking above the Bank of England base rate for life. So whatever their dream, they're busy making money to pay for it. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Exhausting, isn't it? Rest assured, savings work hard with Bradford & Bingley. Glorious thing about time I'm down with nothing else to do. is losing track of it. It's a Magnus Irish Sire. Time dedicated to you. Thank you for coming back so quickly because Brian has been on tainter hooks. He has been hanging on. We want to go there? Yes, yes definitely. Okay, we're going with Brian. Come on, Brian. So, Brian, will you please open box 20 and we know what we want to see, don't we? Have a look. I think you got the 10p. Good luck. Please, Brian. Oh, that's <laughs> Thank you. I told you. I told you to go there earlier. Fantastic. Oh, 
Oh. Well, that looks rather good. It looks lovely. Now, £15,000 gave you a problem, didn't it? Yes. I think you are going to have a mighty snag. Oh. Hello. Oh, you don't like her anymore, do you? Oh, he says he was pretending to like you. Oh. Never really liked oh. you. Who else don't you like? Brian, Les and Little Willie. <laughs> yeah, they were no help. Oh, he's in a bad mood oh. now. Oh, he's in a bad mood. Good, good, good. Ooh, well, Les, you weren't right. Ooh, but he says, get out. Get out, he says. Oh. That's what he was saying. That's not nice. No, he's very posh, but he was sounding very common. Yeah. He? He's going, get out. <laughs> get out. Get out with £20,000. <gasps> oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I told you it was going to give you a problem. Oh, my God. Oh, are you going to get out, are you? Are oh. you going to get out of here with 75,000, 100,000, quarter mils still I possibly know. in the box in front of you? I know. £20,000. That's lovely. Lovely, isn't it? You said you needed a lot oh, of money. Yeah. This game is shaping up to provide you with a huge amount of money. You take risks every single day in your profession as a firefighter, but this is a very different sort of risk. Is there a gambler in there, Louise? There is, but I don't normally come away winning. <laughs> so... It is incredibly difficult, because really when you sit here and yeah. look at the boxes that are still in this game, it screams at you to go on. It does. But you were very honest at the beginning, and you said that got a mortgage you want to pay off and whatever and twenty thousand pounds is a lot of money so i certainly sympathize with the scale of the dilemma here twenty thousand is real money if you say deal if you say no deal you could be our second quarter millionaire oh, oh. hello he'd like to be of assistance to you louise thank you how about this he said just say deal <laughs> Whenever you gamble, you always lose. You're just an unlucky person. Oh. Was that helpful? I mean, look, I'm unlucky in some things, but not in any other things. I know what my head says. You know what your head says. So this is the classic head-heart yeah, battle. Definitely, yeah. Well. One of those vital organs is going to have to win. <laughs> One of them is going to have to take precedence over the other. If it wasn't such a good board, it'd be easy, wouldn't it? Um... Well, we do know the odds of taking out three numbers at this stage. It's 56 to 1 to take all three big ones out. Oh, it's so difficult. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm taking ages. It has to be said, it is fascinating. I'm lost in admiration for people in your profession. Thank you. And as a, as a firefighter, I imagine you have to make split-second decisions. And although it's heavily disciplined and it's a team effort yeah. every now and again, it's an individual that makes a crucial decision. But that's yeah. automatic. You do it automatically. Yeah. And it's... But it's fascinating to see someone who's used to dealing with that sort of pressure now finding this, yeah, this really difficult. Yeah, give me that any day. Are you ready for the question? I think so. Louise, 20,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. Okay, as we can see, a huge amount of emotion invested in that decision. Heart and head. It feels as if the head has won because £20,000 is going to sort out some financial issues for you. We've now got to prove that the head was worthy of winning. Yes. And your heart would have been wrong to go on and on and on. Yeah. 
Now, you were playing totally at random, it appears, so that's how we're going to play. Right. With the exception of the fact that Toby, who was very <laughs> drunk in the pub, said hold on to 17. Right. Here we go. This could be very, very awkward back at work. Right. Let alone back at home if you were destined to get a huge amount of money. Okay. Dave, 18, please. All right, Dave. What we're now going to manufacture here in the Dream Factory is every player's nightmare. We're actually going to take out the three biggest numbers in the next three boxes and prove she's not only made the right decision, yes. but she's beaten the okay. banker. Give us the first one, Dave. On, Dave. My day if this is 250,000, believe me. Oh. No, the perfect <laughs> start. If oh. your heart had dominated your head. Yeah. Right, Mauricia. 12, please. Mauricia, now you've got to do it. We've got to find the two biggest. Thank you. Well, for you. Seventy-five, yeah. John. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be the quarter mil now. OK, think about this one, because just visualise yeah. that you'd actually said no deal. The situation now would have had yeah. us all going, OK, we've taken one hit, yeah. but we're going to hold on to the top two. But now you've got to hit one of them. And I want to see the quarter of a million. Lance, down to you, mate. Come on, Lance. If this is a blue, she is in all sorts of trouble. Go on, Lance. Oh. 10,000. Ooh. Oh, well. It was a very, very good oh. round. Doesn't matter. You lost 75,000. Yeah. But. Louise, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you at all. You no. just said it doesn't matter. I can see the look in your eyes. It matters. <laughs> Hello. Told you. Told you, Louise. You're just plain unlucky. Oh, Louise. Oh. 40 grand. Oh. If the heart had just carried you on oh. for three boxes, oh. you would have doubled the money from 20,000 to 40,000 pounds. Come on, on we go, because it could get a whole nice. lot worse. Come on, Charles. Give me the big one. <coughs> okay, I'll Charles, come on. We want to prove box 15 hasn't got a quarter of a million pounds in it. Let's see it. No. Oh. Yet again, another great start to the round. Are you about to create the dream finale? The one oh, that every dang. single deal or no deal player or for that matter hopeful praise they will end up with at the end of the game a hundred thousand a quarter mil next two boxes you've got to take them out okay emma seven number seven please emma it's down to you a hundred thousand or a quarter million where you go no oh. <gasps> that's terrible it is not just terrible it's horrific this is one of the most powerful finales ever. And you turned your back on it for £20,000. You could have had £40,000. If this is the 15000 you are one of the rarest yeah, players. Don't. It's been done before, but I think maybe two or three times in the history of the game have we ever seen the 100000 quarter mil climax. It's got to be Carol, number 13. OK, Carol, the offer is bound to go up at this point. We're only talking about the scale of her disaster now. Carol, please, open box 13. Oh! oh no. And if you say to me it doesn't matter, I'm going to kick you out of here. <laughs> you terrible, were on your way. To the dream finish either in 15 or 17 is a quarter of a million pounds at this stage you could not have gone away with less than a hundred thousand pounds and this next offer is going to be horrible oh, Louise, I know. if only you could have kept your nerve hello He's partying. He's singing along with you, Charles. 
Oh, good. It's going down like a lead balloon here, banker. Oh, he says, don't worry, Louise, it doesn't matter. Oh, he says, Louise, it doesn't matter. He'd have only had to pay you now £160,000. Oh, Out. That's what he would have offered oh. you at this point. £160,000. You dealt at 20000 you could have had forty. I think most people would probably have given 40. it a shot to forty. Yeah. Then it would have taken quite a leap of faith and courage to get to 160, I grant you. But you did go too soon, Louise. I did. So, were you going to be our second quarter millionaire? Were you going to follow in Laura's footsteps? At this point, you would, of course, have got the swap. Because with the quarter million play, the swap always comes. What would you have done? I think I'd have kept my box. You would have kept the box. I would have, yeah. Believe in the fate and destiny yes. of the game. Yeah. And keep the box. OK. So, as I open this, we will find out either that you could have had a fallback of 100,000 or you could have had a quarter of a million pounds. Okay. I wonder which it's going to be. Louise, you went to 20,000. You could have had 40, you could have had 160,000. Could you have had the honour and the opportunity to change your life by becoming our second quarter millionaire. Yes. Oh my God. In terms of the history of Deal or No Deal, when we add up the wow. people that blew it, you lost the biggest opportunity the game offers. Would you please open box 17? 100,000. We're sitting over there. Thank you, Nikki. I, I am gutted, obviously, but... You just lost your nerve? Yeah, I think so. I, I've seen so many games go wrong, and I thought, my luck's not that good, usually, so... £20,000 in my account would be great. So thank you very much. Louise, I'm pleased that you're pleased with the money. Thank you. That's the most important thing. Thank you very much. Spend it wisely. Thank you. And have a happy life. Louise, £20,000. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. What's that? You're feeling a little frustrated? Uh, yeah, I think there is really a feeling here that the firefighter should possibly have pushed it a little bit more. Whether she'd have gone all the way, that's another matter. But we have proved if you come here with the determination to play the game, you can change your life forever. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Fashion Fix is next on 4. Gok Wan creates high street looks to rival designer creations for a fraction of the cost. Are you considering adopting? Channel 4 is making a new series about adoption. If you recently registered with an adoption agency or plan to, please go to channel4.com slash take part where you can find out more. Great things happen when all the right pieces come together. Your local abbey is a part of Santander, one of the world's largest banks. Together, our expertise helps 65 million customers every day. With a range of bank accounts we're building for our customers' needs. including one that pays 8% interest. To find out which is the right bank account for you, visit your local Abbey branch or call 0800 808080.